This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Ask Larry Anything. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a multicam clip in Premiere that contains media of different sizes. As Richard asks, please review the workflow of taking a multicam shoot with two cameras, one in 1080p and one in 4K, color matching the two cameras, and then doing an edit in a 1080p project, taking advantage of the 4K camera's resolution for zooming and image manipulation. And he was referring to Premiere. And the answer is, you need to build the multicam clip in 4K first, then edit it to the timeline. Otherwise, once your multicam clip is built, you lose the advantage of taking advantage of 4K video. Color matching is the same as an HD multicam clip. So let me show you how this works. I have a mixed media shot here. And let's get rid of our multicam clip. Grab these guys, drag it up to there, get rid of that bin. Here, for instance, I've got giraffe on a road. And this image is 1920, 1080. This is the Earth view in space. It's a 4K image. And this is a Grand Teton barn shot. Okay, so I've got two 1080 clips and one 4K clip. Now they are totally not related. Notice we're at three different frame rates. Let's make this as difficult for ourselves as we can. So select the clips, go up to the clip menu, and create a multi camera source sequence. So we'll just call this 4K multi cam clip you can call it anything there's no magic in the name you can synchronize i'm going to synchronize on a common in because they just all start at the same time because i'm not worried about the sync we know how to deal with that already but here's the trap the default setting is automatic in order to be able to take advantage of the high resolution that 4k provides when you're editing it down into a 10 uh, 1080 project it is critical that you create the multicam clip at a 4K resolution. Otherwise, you can't zoom in anymore. So I'm going to change this from automatic. I've created a custom preset. I have three of them. One that's uh, 720 ProRes, one that's 1080 ProRes, and one that's UHD ProRes. I'm going to select the UHD, which is 3840 by 2160, slightly smaller than a true 4K clip, but UHD is a perfectly popular 4K format. I need to create it at the size of my largest clip. At that point, when I click OK, and let's pull it back down again. OK, there's the giraffe on the road. Let's just double click it to load it up into the, um, the source monitor. There's our full 4K clip. That's HD right in the center of the 4K image. And that's HD in the center of the 4K image. Let's just set a out right, whoops, right about there. And we'll edit this down into the timeline. At this point, we see that that the there is our 4K clip. Now this is still, if we go up to sequence settings. Oh, made one mistake. Hang on one second. Hit the escape key, get rid of this. Let's create a new sequence. So we're going to create a new sequence using the 1080 setting. And it's open. Now we'll edit our clip down to it. When we go up to the sequence setting, notice that it's still a 1920-1080 sequence. And we see our two HD pictures are filling the frame, just as we expect. But we're zoomed into the planetary shot. So let's just do an edit here. Now let's start. Click there. Spacebar to play. We're going to go there. 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 And back and back and back. OK. Now so far, our HD shots fill the frame. But this one is too tight. Right mouse click and say set to frame size. And it should zoom back. There it is, right there. See how our 4K image now zooms back so we see the entire 4K image inside the 1080 frame? And if we need to make changes, go to Effect Control, go to Scale, and we can now scale this image. Even though it's inside the multicam clip, I can scale it one way for one shot. And I can scale it, again, you have to right mouse click 
and you set it to set, not scale, set to frame size, and I'll leave that one full, and again, right mouse click, set to frame size, and we'll scale that one in just a little bit. There we go. So there's one, there's two, there's three. It's the exact same 4K clip, but I've got different scale factors in each shot inside the multicam clip. The key is to build the multicam clip at the size of your largest image, then set to, to frame size for the shots that you want to adjust. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of our webinar, please visit our video training library. And, by the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our library saves you money because you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.